G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, we're finally getting some new tyres for Lando. I'm so excited, they're right over there. Let's take a look at the new Maxxis Trepidors. So there you have it, first look at the uh, new tyres. So they're a Maxxis Trepador in the hard compound bias ply, not the radial. So they're the comp style, but the harder compound. Um, so that'll just suit the road Ks that we do. Um, obviously, Lando's no trailer queen, so um, having a tyre that lasts a wee while on the road never hurts. Um, small sacrifice in, you know, um, traction on the rocks and things like that compared to the stickies, but there's just no point going stickies on Lando. It would just be... Uh, bit of a waste of money so they're um very aggressive tire very aggressive um but they've got a bit more rubber on the road so they should uh yeah last better than the silverstones did because they were not the right tire for what i was doing um and they're also going to hook a lot better on most of the tracks we do as you guys know the west coast tracks that we do they're not generally the really sloppy mud ones where the silverstones and the csts come into their own um we're generally playing on like that hard mud rock sort of stuff where um or the rock surfaces where you know it's just trip country um so very excited to be making the change we'll just have a quick look at them compared with the old silver stones so um as you can see way more tread than the old silver stones um obviously i wore the silvies down quite a bit um they come over here and have a look they took a bit of a beating they've uh Still got a lot of life left in them, and I've actually got a subscriber coming around later today to pick them up because um, he's bought them. They're going on another disco, so that's always good as well. But um, yeah, these new traps should suit the um, yeah suit the conditions I drive in way more. Um, Dad's been running them on his disco as well. Um, he's barely done any Ks on them yet, and he's already loving them. Um, let's have a look here. You can see just starting to uh, break them in. Um, getting those edges rounded over just a little, um, which will actually help on the rocks and things a little more. Obviously not quite so good in the mud once you round them over, but uh, for what we do, it's probably actually gonna be a benefit once um, I get these traps broken in. Um, so yeah, super excited to get them on. They're quite a bit bigger than the uh, 33 inch Sylvies. Um, so we're gonna have to do some work to Lando to make them fit. Um, but first things first, we'll uh, throw them on the truck, see where we're gonna have to clearance and um, yeah, the good news is we're doing a whole bunch more work on Lando, got some big things happening on it, so uh, the clearancing will happen as, um, as the build progresses. Anyway, let's get these on. Good guys, that's real good. That looks insane. What a difference some tyres makes. It's needed this for such a long time. The Sylvies are just a little small, a little narrow. The trips just look so good. I can't wait to see how they perform off-road. Camera down for half an hour, cranked it out. Might have got a bit sidetracked looking at the truck. Far out, it looks amazing. Let's have a look. Alright guys, well that's enough of the beauties. Those tyres look awesome, uh, there's no doubt in that. Really changes the look of the truck. Um, but obviously, the proof is in the pudding. We're going to have to get them off-roading. Um, but before that, we've got to make them fit. As I've already pointed out, we've got some serious clearance issues. They don't rub on-road, which is good. Um, but off-road, I can just... <laughs> anyone can tell that it's going to cause problems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head back and start the uh, process of... Um, you know, making them fit. The good news is there's a whole bunch of changes all happening to Lando within the next month. So uh, 
we'll be cracking into some of those as well while we're at it so big changes coming up to make these tires fit and basically just try and make the truck a little bit uh, more enjoyable to drive um, so anyway let's head back to the garage and uh, start tearing um, st start tearing things apart the big question is how much work is it going to take to make these actually fit so um, I've already got extended arches on them on the truck uh, about a three inch lift and a um, bit of guard trimming however I'm going to say we're probably going to need to do a bit more trimming so um, the places I'm most worried about is just here um, once we turn this wheel is going to tuck right in and almost definitely uh, rub right there and then the other place I'm kind of concerned about is uh, well this here there's probably I can just get a finger in there and uh, we've still got about five inches of uh, up travel to go so that's definitely going to be a problem fortunately uh, well not fortunately but kind of fortunately that side has actually got a bent trailing arm so it's actually pulled the wheel slightly more forward than it usually would be but that's still going to be a problem spot and the other problem spot is going to be uh, probably right up here um, we may need to do some more clearancing but you can see once the doors open there's a bit more room we might just need to take this edge back a bit further um, but yeah we're going to be getting, getting cutty right into there um, don't know what we're going to do about the uh, flares just yet might try remodel them might just get rid of them and do something else yep that's uh, poking a bit much so I mean I don't think we'll worry too much about it, just hopefully be alright, I don't know. Um, I've got some ideas for the guards on the front anyway, so that'll be happening soon, so we won't need to worry about that. But in the back I just really don't know what to do, eh? Like, I just don't, yeah, I just don't know yet. Um, have some ideas, maybe making some custom arches, um, got a couple more. Um, random flexi arches which I was thinking plastic welding to make bigger ones I don't know there's options there's options anyway I don't know I think we'll uh, fire the truck up and see how badly it rubs um, when we turn the steering the other thing to note is obviously being a wider tyre we're gonna have to adjust the uh, steering stops because um, the steering stop just uh, right in the middle of your screen there um, because the Silverstone's already just kissed the uh, radius arms because I never bothered to set them correctly last time so this time it's going to be a lot worse so we'll fire up the truck and um, have a look Yeah, by the time that's flexed up we're going to have problems, sure. Well, we're uh, on the road, um, been driving for probably 10 minutes, um, definitely definitely feel the extra weight, um, however it's not as bad as I thought it might be, so that's good, um, seems, to, seems to drive right. Surprisingly they're actually significantly quieter on road than the Silverstones, not that really anybody cares about that when you're uh, buying tyres like these, but I thought it was interesting. Okay guys, well, just been mucking around for the last half hour or so. Um, the front guards have been siliconed on for some reason. Um, so that's just been a glorious job trying to get that off. And then um, Dad has been working on the back. Um, and as you can see, we've removed the back half of the flare because there's actually more clearance up under here. So any extra clearance, it's good clearance. So what we're gonna do is uh, trim up here and then back down and then we're going to basically on the opposite side we're going to hollow out some of the flare um, just to give us more room for some up travel. Dad's managed to get both of the rear guards trimmed. Um, just in the back half only so you can see where we've the usual shape went across there and we've taken that out we'll deal with the door um, later on because the door's going to take a bit more work but we've done both sides I've pulled both front guards off um, to whoever decided to uh, silicon the 
guards to the truck. Oh, that made my life so difficult. <laughs> um, but as you can see, we've got flares off, got guards off, snorkel off. So, good progress. Um, but yeah, battling the silicon was an absolute mission. You can see it's just the whole way along that edge there. But they've also they'd also gone and done it down this edge here as well. And absolute mission. Anyway, the good news is that's all all off. As you can see, the gut, the tires are nice and open. But um, the reason we've done that is we need to um, basically. The suspension setup on Lando has been less than ideal for a long time. Um, I've spent far too much money and got some very nice parts coming for it. Um, but one of those things we want to do while we're fitting the new tyres is obviously set our bump stop height correctly because currently it's just got some extended bump stops in it. Um, horrible extended bump stops. They're very, they've got no progression in them or anything. Um, so we're changing it all up. Um, but we need to set... Basically we need to make as much room in the guard as possible for the tyre um, so this lip here is all going to get trimmed back because you can see it's quite a lip there um, and then yeah we'll gently massage everything as far out of the way as possible so we can get, have as much room for up travel as possible um, then we'll set the truck to maximum bump um, and that's when we'll set our new bump stop uh, ride heights oh sorry our new bump stop um, compressed heights so that's what we're doing in the back in the front um, similar story in the back um, basically making as much room for up travel as possible so that we can then um, yeah set our bump height um, I'll show you what we've got for this because um, it's a common mod for safaris to put 80 series bump stops in um, but I've not seen anyone do it with a disco um, so this is an 80 series bump stop as you can see it's kind of going to concertina up when it gets compressed um, come, a couple of the winch challenge boys use them um, as poor man's hydro bumps so I did want to go hydro bumps but as you can see there's just pretty much no room above the top of the spring um, to actually have the top half of the um, hydro bump sit because we've got the boot floor. Obviously it doesn't matter on a racetrack, you just cut a hole in your floor, but Lando is a tourer. So that um, obviously is not an option. So I figured out a way of doing um, 80 series bump stops, I think. Um, just waiting on parts turning up to uh, make that all happen. So that's where we're at. I think we'll leave it for here today. Um, super, super stoked with the new traps. They look, they look awesome. I'm really looking forward to getting them running, but uh, as you can see, we've got a lot to do to Lando before then. We've got, oh, I think we've got, after this weekend, we've got two more weekends to get everything done before the trip, so it's going to be a hustle, that's for sure, but um, can't wait to see the truck out on the tracks on the new tyres. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you think of the trips down in the comments, um, and if you've got any questions about the truck or anything really, leave them down there. We'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers for watching. We'll see you then.